Now, welcome back from the long break and welcome to Joy News Interactive here on Joy News on Multi TV, DSTV Channel 421, Go TV Channel 144. Get interactive and leave your comments on the issues we posted on our Facebook page. Your name is Joy News on TV. Today, you can also call us on 0302-211-691 or 0302-2211-692. My name is Ms. G, the Entertainment General. So, Ghana marked Workers' Day on Monday and we've had an eventful ceremony. President Akufuado spoke to the nation, especially workers. The president was full of praise for the Ghanaian worker and our commitment to making the nation better. He said the nation's development should be our priority and that we need to stop idling about where we've got work to do. Watch this and after that, we'll get to read your comments here. The workers on the roads, the contractors and all the consultants all conspire to deliver the shoddy work that prevents us from getting to where we ought to be. We all avoid very carefully any mention of the workplace attitudes that retard our progress. I've said it at another forum, but I think it bears repeating. We arrive work, at work late and then spend the, spend the first hour in prayer. We are clock watchers and leave in the middle of critical work because it is the official closing time. Everything comes to a stop when it rains and we seem to expect the rest of the world also to stop. We have no respect for the hours set aside for work we pray, we eat, we visit during working hours. We spend hours chatting on the telephone when customers are waiting to be served, thereby increasing our labor costs. We take a week off for every funeral, and then we wonder why we are not competitive. The service that we provide in our hospitality industry does not match that of our competitors. And many of us have sadly come around to accept poor service as the norm. There is a particularly pernicious attitude to property that we find at work. There's the petty stealing of paper, envelopes, tea, milk, and other equipment. There's the reckless use of office vehicles. Employees show no inclination to protect the things that, that are in the offices and factories and extreme reluctance to stand up for what we know to be right in our workplaces in general. If we are going to make the changes we all want, then we have to start with a change in attitude to work. All right, so that was the president yesterday addressing the nation as we marked Workers' Day. We posted this on our Facebook page, and let's get to read what you have posted as well. And uh, I have for you here, DM says, I totally agree with Mr. President. Ghana will only change for the better when that Ghanaian mentality and attitude towards work and corruption changes. Fellow Ghanaians, let's love our country first before our selfish interest or party first. And uh, Ban says, uh, you haven't paid some teachers this month. Uh, you're talking about, okay. So who built the better Ghana than teachers, you are asking. But not to stay away from political vigilantism, lawlessness, and unlawful seizure of people's vehicles. And uh, that's what you're asking. And uh, Mahama says, we hear Mr. President. So some of your comments uh, concerning what uh, the president said during the May Day celebration to Ghanaians and workers as a whole. So um, this comment I've read already, but uh, we must change our look from attitude towards payments of our workers, Mr. President, uh, you were saying. And so that's um, the comment from you out there on our Facebook page. All right. All right, so last Friday, there was a situation um, 
fellow on air personality Caroline Sampson posted the picture on Instagram indicating that she went to the passport office in a dress that was a little below above her knee sorry and that when she got to the reach passport office she was asked to go back because per what they saw her wear the dress was too short for her to be allowed in the passport office. We have Caroline on the line now. She'll tell us the whole story and what have happened after the incident last Friday. Good morning, Caroline. Welcome to uh, Join morning, Us Interactive. All right, I trust you're doing very well. I'm great. Okay, so last Friday, like I said, we saw the post on Instagram. I am privy mm -hmm. to the story, but I'm sure a lot of people who are watching do not know what exactly happened last Friday. If you can please uh, retrace what you posted on Instagram and all that happened. Uh, yeah, okay, so I got a call from there, you know, the person actually renewed my passport to, me, to go and take a picture. So I went to the one uh, close to the Register General's office. Mm -hmm. And they directed me to RIT. Up until Friday, I didn't know there was a RIT office. So I went there, and uh, when I was walking to the door, there was this guy standing there who was watching me. So I got closer to him, and he asked my name. And I told him. So he followed up with, uh, oh, I want to buy you. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of like, I didn't, I didn't smell him or anything. I was just watching. So yeah. So when I walked past him, he pulled me back me and said, oh, you can't go and spy though. And I was like, why? And he said, because your dress is short. Mm. And I was like, my dress is short, so I cannot enter and take a picture. He said, no, you have to go and take it. I said, okay. So I went. And then walked out of the room. There's this small room there before you actually go to the compound. So when I went out, I went back in to ask him his name, and he told me. And then after asking why I was asking his name, I said, oh, well, you don't have to worry about it. But he insisted. And I was like, okay. So I'm a radio and television presenter. And if there are set of rules here, I think it, it will be very good. You guys educate the public about with how to look when you're coming to the passport office. You get me? Yeah. So if you are telling me my dress is short because it's a little about my knee, I don't feel like I'm decent. And it's not even short because you cannot see my thigh. Mm -hmm. So what are you talking about? I just kept going on. And my mother and my dad, and then it pissed me off. So now we were all just like at each other. And people around the area were watching us. So I was even a soldier who came closer and said, oh, he begs. I just saw my boys and, you know, I think it's okay. So I said, nah, you, you told me, point blank, I cannot enter the building because my dress is short. I respected that fact because it's your office. And I went away. I only just came back to ask your name because if I want to address the issue, I should be able to tell who I can told me not to go in there because of the dress that I was wearing. So I came out, and then I just, like, she said it. I just pointed out that I came to the passport office. I wasn't allowed in. Why? Because I dressed too short. And I had a picture of the dress. So I only just posted it and added a picture to it. That was it. And the whole thing just blew out of proportion. It was that bad. It caused then panic. Apparently, there were calls flying all over, balls to balls, whatever. So I was called to come back. And also, when I got there, <laughs> the story had changed that I came in with a short dress, a red dress, and they even, you know, there was a guy there who was trying to think on me. Oh, like too many different stories at a time. And they even heard that I went on radio to bash them, blah, blah, blah. I said, no. I came in here. Your man was checking me out when I was walking in. And then he asked my name. I told him. And he said that he wanted to marry me. I didn't mind it. Just when I walked past him, he asked me to come back because my dress is short. And that's just it. And I just didn't think that this is the case. Caroline, if you can hear me, 
Mm -hmm. did, did they pay any chance to tell you that it is normal for them to turn away people in dresses that they deem inappropriate and it's well, not to the public? There was, there was one thing that one of the security guards actually told me, that they have it on the wall. And I was like, dude, listen, this is not even supposed to be. You don't put rules like this on your wall. I'm coming from my house. I don't even know what the situation is here. So I get here and you're telling me, for men, you can't wear shorts. There was this man. I went there this morning to, you know, give my, I, I, I dropped off my ID from my workplace. And there was this man who was really upset because he, had, he was looking decent. He was looking good. But he just had shorts on with a little shirt, you know, just looking dapper and all that. But they wouldn't allow him in. He, so he entered the compound. It was when he got into the main building that the security guy said he couldn't enter because he wasn't looking right. Mm. And he didn't understand why. No, so if, 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 like if I said. could add so to this. So educate the public. Let them know. You don't have to have it on your wall. I'm coming from my house. Exactly. So what did they expect? What did the bosses tell you? Did they say that this has been made public and well, so it's yeah, expected? Yeah, they said they have it on the wall. So when you get it, you be able Just to on the wall, but it. it's not exactly. made, made public. And today, today I had a long shirt and my spaghetti strap off. And they said that I'm also showing my shoulders and my, my wow. chest. I was like, dude, really? So you guys can look at me now and want to raise me? And he made a comment like, oh, we, we don't know what to do to us. Tell our eyes to us. And now, then you guys have a problem. Hmm. Like, you cannot be looking at me, Thailand, with skinny cells. And tell me, because my head is showing and my shoulders are showing. Now, after your incident, Caroline, after your incident, Carla, if you can hear me, after your incident, yeah. have they made any efforts to make these known to the general public than just I having it posted think, on their wall? I, I don't think there's been any, any incident like that. I mean, I'm sure probably they're going to look at it and come back again and see how best they can let the people know that these and these and these are the rules here, so you just need to abide by them. Because we would respect it anyway. We should know. In my exactly. case, I did not know. And I went in there not thinking I was indecent. That's all I'm saying. You get me? And then, of course, they have to the the story up and down. Some people called my mom saying that I had a short and uh, red dress and I went to pass it off and they, they ripped it off. Wow. And I'm just walking around eating. Ah. And that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us uh, over the phone uh, with uh, the explanation as to what happened to you last Friday. And uh, thank God that the issue has been resolved. And we hope that this serves as, you know, as a warning to them that you can't just treat anybody anyhow, but except you make the information public and then we can then abide by it. Thank you so much, Caroline, for speaking to us. And uh, let's read the comments about on-air personality, uh, Caroline's issue with the wage office of uh, the passport office. Okay, so if any organization or institution has a dress code, then whoever comes there must respect the code. Our ladies who are supposed to set good examples to be up and coming daughters now dress anyhow themselves. Our way of dressing should now be a requirement for our youth and those who call themselves stars. Yes, but sometimes I don't understand why some ladies keep exposing their bodies just to gain attention from the public. This is bad from Ping Pong. And uh, Simon says, yes, I think it was a good move. We should implement some level of decency in our society, you are saying. And um, they were right if they had been doing that to others without favoritism and nepotism. And yes, at least some something decent. You don't wear something you would agree to wear in the bathroom. And uh, Banton is saying that, yes, we African are moral beings and very responsible. We need to keep the legacy of our forefathers. And uh, you said, uh, Francis says, there is always a dress code for every event, but the day or night, be it day or night, work or party, formal or informal, check yourself. And the uh, guy says, uh, I don't know how indecent her dress was, but I believe your dress should be reasonably decent. And Kwasha says, was the passport office not being overzealous? Sort of the subject, mode of dress, and constituting indecent exposure. I am unable to appreciate what the office's beef is about. Be that it's be that as it may be, I don't know of any law that vests it in the office. And uh, so you guys are reacting to what happened to Caroline Sampson.
लास्ट फ्राइडे